This is a video that demonstrates how to install Visual Studio 2022 on your Windows machines uh, for Seneca College programming courses. Now, the very first thing that you need to do is to open your browser and uh, you can just Google search for download Visual Studio 2022. So download Visual Studio 2022 and uh, what comes up is the first thing that comes up is actually the um, link that you want it's visualstudio.microsoft.com slash vs um, you can just uh, go to the drop down menu community version suffices for the first three semesters that you have and after that you can improve to the other ones this is more lightweighted and um, uh, consumes less resources of your computer so click on uh, community version and uh, save the Visual Studio setup. Start up the Visual Studio setup. Click on yes to continue the installation. It's going to actually um, update everything and make sure everything is uh, set up for your computer and everything's properly uh, done so Visual Studio installer will be downloaded and installed first uh, that Visual Studio installer is an application that uh, takes care of all the features that you want to install for your Visual Studio uh, what you want to install um, uh, the, the focus of our installation is for CC++ development so <clears throat> desktop CC++ development is what we want to install <clears throat> Installing the desktop development uh, with C++ uh, doesn't require to have all the SDKs installed, but these are like uh, these installing these things are not a bad idea because sometimes you uh, download different types of uh, um, um, versions of the um, projects that you are getting from school or uh, other places that they have different SDKs this gives you the the chance to select the proper one if you want to if you want to use it another thing that is going to be helpful is to go to individual components and scroll down to code tools and cl click on class designer class designer gives you an illustration of how classes are in C++ it's going to be helpful for your um, uh, future uh, projects that you are doing so you can see actually what is the class hierarchy of your uh, of your uh, application then you can click on uh, install so it's going to install and you have to wait for this thing to install that's going to take a while so we're going to pause and wait for it to complete the installation installation okay now the installation is complete and let's actually see how it's going to work out so to test it I'm just gonna close the installer and close this one go to Visual Studio over here so Visual Studio 2022 bring it up Now that it's open, we're just going to test it by creating a sample project. So I'm going to create a new project over here. And an empty C++ project would be nice. So let's create it like that. And I'm going to create it in documents, say OP244. And I'm going to select a folder and I'm going to call it test. Place the solution project in the same directory. Click on create. That's going to create the solution for the test project that I'm creating. And there we go. So uh, there is no need for properties. I'm just going to add a new item over here, which is a C++ file code. And in here, I'm going to call it testing CPP. OK, so. Let's write include IO stream using namespace std and int main return zero and 
see uh, testing one, two, three. No line and compile and run to see if it works properly or not. And we have our execution testing one, two, three. So it's installed and we are good to go. Thank you very much for watching and uh, the rest of the setup for the videos are coming up.